Hey guys, 420C in here, back at it again with another video. Hope everyone out there is having themselves a super stony day. Let me know what you're token on and where you're watching the video from. I always like to know. Be sure to drop the old fat like, subscribe, and if you want access to all my unlisted grow and smoke videos, you want to get access to our VIP Discord community, or you want to get some one-on-one -on -one grow help, totally check us out on Patreon. I'm going to have the link in the upper right-hand corner over here. I know you guys really wanted that meatbag story, but I don't know, I kind of wasn't really feeling it this morning but I might tell you guys that story sometime next weekend I don't know maybe like next Sunday's video we'll see though but today we're gonna be doing our third episode of our bean release series and if you're new on here we're gonna be creating a playlist within the next week hopefully in case you wanted to get some insight on some of the newer beans that came out the last few weeks and this is gonna be a new series that I started a couple weeks ago yeah I think it's really cool to give you guys insight on all the new strains that are coming out and I don't know it's just really cool to even just talk about this them and talk about all the different crosses out there. Now, there are a lot of bean releases that are out there, but I'm going to pick the ones that I would buy and try for myself. The very first one that piqued my interest was Lemon Bubble by Greenhouse Seeds, and I've always been a fan of a lot of the lemon-flavored strains out there, but this one is a cross between the iconic Super Lemon Haze and Silver Bubble, and I was trying to find some information on whether this is more indica or sativa, but there wasn't really too much information, but based on the fact that it's Super Lemon haze that it's in there and based on the structure of it it's definitely going to be leaning towards sativa dom the percentage of you know sativa to indica ratio i don't know what it is but it just seems like it would be a sativa dom from like all the stuff that i was reading about it and kind of looking over now the flowering time is between 63 and 70 days which sounds about right you know because sativa doms they do take a little bit longer and it did win a whole bunch of awards back in 2014 and 2015 like the seed find your cup and the uh, Valencia Copaco. Hopefully I pronounced that the right way and it does have a citrus lemon profile which is kind of a no-brainer considering that it is lemon bubble right? But it does have some super silver haze undertones and you can get these beans over at Seed Supreme. You can get them over at Attitude or straight from the source over at Greenhouse Seeds website. Now the next release is going to be Lemon Fire Runs by Relentless Genetics and this one is really frosty and it's got like that foxtail chem dog action going on. I mean it's not exactly foxtailing but the formation of the flowers it's the best way I can really describe how it looks and of course I can't show you guys photos on here but I am giving you all the resources guys lemon fire runs I mean doesn't that just sound super dope super rad even just the name itself but anyway it's a cross between lemon fire OG and runs it's kind of an obvious no-brainer right there right and based on everything that I know about runs I'm gonna say that it's leading towards a hybrid and this one has an interesting flavor profile now of course it's got that sweet citrus lemon vibe but it also has a little twist of gas in there flowering time is between eight and nine weeks and it's supposed to yield a lot like more than average and it doesn't stretch nearly as much as other strains that i've run before but at the same time make sure to flip when you're about two-thirds of your grow space full it's always better to be safe than sorry now it's supposed to be a really easy to grow strain so i would recommend this especially for beginners and also all you plugs out there if you're looking for bag of Peel, this is definitely the one. Lots of frost and has some crazy trike production. And the only place that I know that you can pick up the lemon fire runs is from Attitude. Greenhouse Seeds also has another release called Moito. I know, kind of sounds kind of weird, right? I'm gonna have the name of this strain at the bottom left side here of the video, so that way you can kind of just look it up. And if you once you look this up, I mean, it looks straight fire. This is another one of those crazy trike production strains. So yes, bag up absolutely 100% tenfold bruh. That's actually one of the reasons I picked this one because I was looking at all the new releases and this one just really caught my eye instantly. It was just like honing in with an anti-tank launcher. My eyes just straight up locked on immediately. Now this strain is really interesting and I think the most interesting part of this is the fact that it has dosidos lineage and if you've never had dosidos before it's pretty much a variant of Girl Scout cookies so picture Girl Scout cookies and add a little bit of lemon in there and and that's what you get. It's kind of like lemon cookies, I guess you can say, but it is a cross between Velvet Moon, Lemon Tree, and OG Kush. Those three strains. So that's Velvet Moon, Lemon Tree, and OG Kush. I know sometimes I talk a little bit fast, so I don't want you to think that Velvet Moon, Lemon Tree is like the same thing. So it's Velvet Moon, Lemon Tree, and OG Kush, which is one of my classic personal favorites. And yes, I know all the strains that I picked out today all have something to do with lemon. This one is more sweet and not really nearly as gassy and this one is 
40 in the Kadam. Super big harvest if you do it right. And up to nine weeks of flowering time. So it's not that bad. So it's like eight to nine weeks of flowering time. And that's just about average, honestly. So maybe 60 to 65 days, give or take. And this one is supposed to make you feel really relaxed and happy and all that other good happy horse shit. And it's definitely gonna make you hungry, all right? And you can pick the Moito up from either Seed City or Attitude. But I feel like Seed City might be a little bit quicker. Now this last one isn't exactly a new release, but it's a bestseller, which means a lot of people seem to like it. So I figured I would throw this one in there. And this one really caught my eye. It's Frozen Black Cherry by Amnesia Seeds. Not Amnesia, Amnesia. It's a cross between Blackberry Moon Rocks and Pacific Frost. And you can get these over at Attitude. If there's another place you can get these beans at, I'm not really sure, but I did see this over at Attitude. And if you see the picture of it, it is straight white. Now this isn't really a shocker, but it has a fruity sweet flavor like juicy cherry or juicy fruit punch, something like that. Also on this one, expect a super big yield and this is a heavy indica. I'm talking like 80% indica, kind of like purple punch is. We're talking about like that kind of indica to sativa ratio. And this is typically nine weeks of flowering and it has a high dank content of 35%. I hope you understand the three letters that I'm talking about that begins with a T and ends with a C. If you don't, well, then you're B. I think the highest percentage I've ever heard of and actually seen was 38%, but I mean, I don't know, who really knows? I don't really look at the percentage all that much. For me, it's all about the flavor profile, and of course, as long as it gets me faded, that's the most important thing, you know? If it's got those two elements in there, I don't really care what the percentage is. Like, I've gotten faded off 18% a lot more than some that were like maybe 23, 24%, so that just goes to show you that percentage doesn't really mean dick. This one is supposed to be really relaxing, and I would absolutely recommend this for nighttime, unless you're one of those guys or gals that have a job where you can hide from your boss, like in that movie. You guys ever see Employee of the Month? I still remember Dane Cook and his boys. They had, that, they had like this makeshift room around a bunch of boxes. Like imagine going to Costco and seeing a bunch of dudes playing poker after you pull something out of the items. It's like, yo, what's up? But if you don't have a job like that, then definitely save that for a nighttime token. You can pick up these frozen black cherry beans over at Anesia Seeds right from the source. So you can just get them over at Mandela Seed Shop and pick them up. I know I've never mentioned them before, but they're pretty reliable as well. And of course you can grab them from Attitude. Heck, you can grab anything from Attitude, man. And you know, I really like the fact that you guys want me to keep making these kind of videos because I feel like it's always fun to go around and look at all the different flavors and strains that are out there because there's always new stuff coming out and new flavors to try out. And it's just really cool. Like, I feel like you have to be a nerd to really understand it. Like, there are people that don't really care about it as long as it gets them faded, which I mean, it's all well and good. And I don't know, I just like to look at all the different strains, the different breeders. They, they work really hard. These breeders, guys, they work really hard for us. And you got to give them some credit, especially those breeders or bean companies that are fairly new and don't get really too much exposure. So that's another reason why I like to come out with these videos, not only to give you guys good insight about all the beans that are out there, all the new stuff that's coming out there, but I also want to give credit to maybe even the little guys. Like I mentioned Relentless Genetics before. I know some people never heard of them, but there's a lot of good stuff out there. So that's why I really like coming out with these videos. Let me know in the comment section what your favorite flavor profile is. I'm just kind of curious about that. And since we're kind of towards the tail end of the video, now for me, I would have to say I love that citrus profile. Anything orange and lemon with a little bit of fine gas in there. That's always a good vibe to me. So that's going to wrap up today's video. Before we close out today's video, I want to thank everyone on screen who's been supporting us on Patreon. I really appreciate the love and support. And to everyone else, be sure to smash that good old like button, subscribe for more videos. And most importantly, make sure to turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And I hope everyone has a great rest of their day. And as always, stay safe. Peace.